my lesson plan lab family and welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to have you all here with me today so in today's video we will be looking at the europeans in the caribbean and why the europeans came to the caribbean now European settlements in the Caribbean began with Christopher Columbus, and we all know Mr. Christopher Columbus. And he was carrying an elaborate feudal commission that made him perpetual governor of all the lands that he discovered and gave him a percentage of all trade that he conducted. Now, Columbus set sail in September 1492, and he was determined to find a faster and a shorter way to China and Japan. In all, Columbus made four voyages of exploration between 1492 and 1502. Columbus inadvertently started a small settlement on the north coast of Hispaniola when his flagship, the Santa Maria, was wrecked off the Mole St. Nicholas on his first voyage. Now, there were four main European colonies or four main European groups that actually came to the Caribbean. We have the Spanish, the British, the Dutch, and the French. And as you can see here, they all settled in different parts of the Caribbean. So an example for the Spanish, they settled in Cuba and the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. For, for the British, they settled in a lot of countries in the Caribbean, such as Bahamas, Jamaica, where we live, Barbados, the Virgin Islands, and the list goes on. Now, the Dutch, they came to the Caribbean to Curaçao, Bonaire, Aruba, and the list goes on. And finally, the French, they went to Haiti, Guadeloupe, Martinique, St. Martin, and other countries. So they were all over the Caribbean, the European settlers. Now, let's take a look at the Spanish. Let's see when they came and why they came. So the Spanish, they came in 1492. And yes, that was way, 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 way before we were born. And they wanted to find gold silver and spices in China and India and also Japan. However, by sailing west in search of a shorter road to Asia, they ended up in the Caribbean. So that's actually how the Spanish came to the Caribbean. Guess what? They were trying to find a shorter road to China, to Japan and India. And guess what? They ended up right here in the Caribbean. Then we go on to the British. Yes, the British. They came in 1624. Now, this is the reason why the British came. They became jealous of the Spanish. They had heard about how wealthy the Spanish were becoming and they came to get a share of that wealth. Yes, they were so jealous that they packed up themselves on a ship and they sailed to the Caribbean because guess what? The Spanish were wealthy. They were making a lot of money. They were rich. So guess what? The British, they needed a piece of that. So guess what? They came to the Caribbean, yes, to get wealthy. Then we have the Dutch. Now, the Dutch, they came to the Caribbean in the late 16th century. And the Dutch came to the Caribbean mainly because of trade. They were good traders. And, in, and the Dutch, they wanted a steady supply of salt for curing fish that was sold throughout Europe. So the Dutch knew that there were large deposits of salt near to Cumana in Venezuela, and from their foothold on Tobago, they launched their expeditions to the eight mile long lagoon that was separated from the sea by a narrow strip of land. So guess what? The Dutch weren't as interested in stealing the wealth of the Spanish, like the British. They were more interested in building themselves as traders and ensuring that they could supply salt to the different European countries so that they can help cure their fish. Now, let's go down to the French. Now, the French came to the Caribbean in 1635 
and their main reason for coming to the Caribbean was because they were in search of wealth as well. Now, the Europeans came to the Caribbean in search of wealth, as I was saying earlier. The Spanish had originally looked for gold and silver, but there, were, there was little to be found. Instead, the Europeans tried growing different crops to be sold back home. After unsuccessfully experimenting with growing tobacco, the English colonists, they tried growing sugarcane in the Caribbean, and guess what? It flourished. This was not a local plant in Jamaica. However, it grew. Sugarcane could be used to make various products, and it was all because of the sugar trade why slavery was actually introduced to the Caribbean. Now, there was sugar, of course, which went well with tea, coffee, and chocolate. And we all use sugar today, yes. So it could also be used to make rum, which is a strong alcoholic drink, and it's not for you kids. Now, a lot of people in Europe, they wanted such products, yes. And as a result, those who grew it, they were known as planters, they became very, very, very wealthy. Now, this also made the Caribbean colonies valuable and tempting, which they had a lot of rival empires. So Britain and France were constantly at war in the 18th century and early 19th century with places such as Martinique, changing hands many times now students that's all you need to know for now about why the europeans came to the caribbean until then goodbye